2.4 gigahertz versus 5 gigahertz. What is the difference when we're talking about Wi-Fi? They represent different frequencies which have different wavelengths. 2.4 gigahertz actually has a wavelength which is longer than 5 gigahertz. Some routers give off a wireless signal at 2.4 gigahertz. Other routers give off a signal at 5 gigahertz. They're both physically kind of look the same and you really can't tell which one it is by looking at it. You just have to know the stats about the router. Some routers give off a certain frequency, one frequency, such as 2.4 gigahertz only, while others may be 5 gigahertz only. Let's say this represents an older smartphone. Let's say an old iPhone or an old Android, whatever, that only supports 2.4 gigahertz. If your smartphone only supports 2.4 gigahertz and your router is only sending a signal at 2.4 gigahertz, then your smartphone and your router can communicate with each other. The 2.4 gigahertz phone cannot communicate with the five gigahertz router. And let's say this represents a smartphone that is programmed to, to recognize five gigahertz frequencies only. It will only be able to communicate with routers that broadcast at five gigahertz. So in this setup, if we have two routers, this phone will only be able to, to receive any signals from this five gigahertz network router. It will not be able to hear or receive any signals from this 2.4 gigahertz network. Some routers do not only support 2.4 gigahertz or do not only support 5 gigahertz, but they have both. These routers are called dual band routers because they have both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz capabilities. The latest smartphones and tablets and stuff like that are also dual band, meaning you can just switch settings and it'll see both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So you could have a network here on 2.4 gigahertz and you can have a separate Wi-Fi on 5 gigahertz and this dual band phone, such as the latest iPhone or the latest Android, will be able to see both networks. On dual band devices such as the Android phone that I currently use, when you connect to Wi-Fi and it gives you a list of Wi-Fi networks like that, when you have a bunch of Wi-Fi networks in your area, if, you, if these represent routers with their own Wi-Fi networks, the device will show all of the Wi-Fi networks, both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, all on the same screen. And they'll all be just on a list and it'll see all the networks. But if you have an older device that doesn't support 5 gigahertz networks, then you'll only see the ones that are 2.4 gigahertz. So even if you have all these routers around you, all these networks are turned on around you, if your device only supports 2.4 gigahertz, then it won't even see these other routers. It won't even be an option. They won't even appear on the list. A lot of times inside your router settings, it'll let you change, it'll let you switch between the networks, or if it's a dual band router, a simultaneous dual band router, it'll let you enable both. So in this router, if you want to enable the 2.4 gigahertz network, you just check the box to enable it. Or if you want to enable the 5 gigahertz network, you check that box. It's also possible to check both of them and allow both of them to exist at the same time. When you're in your router settings, usually you have different settings for each one. The 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi will have its own SSID or Wi-Fi name and its own password. The 5 gigahertz will also have its own SSID and its own password. These two Wi-Fi networks will simultaneously exist on your one router if it's a dual band router. When you buy your dual band router from the store, you have this one router and it has two networks. And then when you get on your smart device, say your, your smartphone, even though you have one router, it has two networks. So when you're trying to connect to Wi-Fi, it will show two different networks. Something like my Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi 5G. Usually the 5G one, the five gigahertz is named the same thing, but something added to the end. So then you know which one is which. Some devices don't even support the 5G. 
So they won't even show this network on here. You won't even be able to see it on some devices. So even though it exists over here, this device may not be able to even see it because it doesn't support the five gigahertz band. The five gigahertz band can also be enabled or disabled. Same with the 2.4 gigahertz band. So sometimes you might not see this network on your list and it's, it's possible that either it doesn't support five gigahertz or the five gigahertz band might just be turned off and you might just need, you might just need to enable it or turn it back on so it can see this network again. So why do we have both of these and why would I choose one over the other? If I see both as an option on my phone, why would I decide to connect to one and not the other? Here's a few po major points. The 2.4 gigahertz band tends to reach further distances. It also tends to go through walls better. It also works with more devices. It's used in older routers and it can, more devices are able to connect to it. The five gigahertz bands are generally faster. They have more channels to choose from, meaning you can, ha you can have more routers in the same area and not ha let them interfere with each other. They're also less populated, so there's less interference, meaning there's not as many devices that use the 2.4 gigahertz band as the amount of devices that use the five gigahertz band. As a general over overview of the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz bands on Wi-Fi routers, you get multiple Wi-Fi networks from one router. It will have one network on this band and one network on that band. You choose which one to connect to. When you pop up your list on your device and you show the available Wi-Fi networks, you'll be able to choose which one you want to connect to individually. Not all phones, tablets, etc., other Wi-Fi devices can see both networks. So just because your router has both of them, it doesn't mean that you'll be able to see both of them. Most new devices are dual band, like the latest iPhone, the latest Android, etc. They should be able to see both. So when you pop them up, you'll see two networks that both come from your router. Some devices cannot see both. They might only see the 2.4 gigahertz and your other one might not even show up. They both have pros and cons. There are pros to, and cons to using the 2.4 gigahertz networks and there's pros and cons to using the 5 gigahertz networks. It's up to you which one would work best for you. Routers with both are called dual band routers. So routers that only come with one of these is called a single band router. Routers that have both of them, usually they'll have settings pages so you can change the settings on each one. Those are called dual band routers. Some routers can only choose. You can only do only 2.4 gigahertz or you switch to five gigahertz. Those are called dual band routers. And then some routers that have both are called simultaneous dual band routers because they have two networks at the same time simultaneously. So it's called simultaneous dual band. Are you having issues seeing your five gigahertz network on your tablet or smartphone or whatever device? Some things to note are not all routers have a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So it's possible that your router particular router might not even have it on there. You have to look it up or kind of know what the, what the hardware is on the router to know if it has it or not. Also, not all devices support five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Even if the router has it, some devices cannot support it. Meaning, even if the router has the network on there, if your phone or your tablet doesn't support the five gigahertz band, it will never see that network because it doesn't support it. You could ask yourself, is five gigahertz disabled on your router? The router might have a five gigahertz network. It might support it and your device might support it, but it could be disabled on the router. That might be one reason why it doesn't show up on your wireless device. Or is five gigahertz disabled on your phone or tablet or PC? It's possible that your phone supports five gigahertz and your router supports five gigahertz, but it could be disabled on your phone. So you might want to look in your settings to see if it's enabled or disabled. 
five gigahertz Wi-Fi tends to not go as far or travel through walls as well as 2.4 gigahertz. So if you have a router and you're really far away or you're going several rooms away, it's going through a few walls, maybe you can see your 2.4 gigahertz network, but you can't see your five gigahertz network. The reason may be that the five gigahertz tends to not go through uh, objects as well as 2.4 gigahertz signals can. So it's possible you might be too, you might be going through too many objects. Your 2.4 gigahertz network might make it through all of those obstacles fine, but the five gigahertz might not be able to make it through all those walls. Also, the five gigahertz network tends in a, just a big open space might not reach as far as the 2.4 gigahertz network. This has been a 2.4 gigahertz versus 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi overview brought to you by Eric at Home Network Central on YouTube. If you like this video, if you could consider giving me a like, I would appreciate it. If you like videos like this, if you like the topic, consider subscribing because I have lots of videos and I plan on making more. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.